Hello guys, it's me again Daisy and for tonight's video is a perfume uh, scents or fragrances that I feel like appropriate during this uh, rainy season and uh, if you hear noises on the background it's because it is raining right now uh, the rainy season is almost starting here in the Philippines so basically we have two seasons only the hot summer or uh, hot summer weather yeah and the other one is the rainy season so um, most of these perfumes that I am going to show you is the perfumes I used to wear on the, on winter time when I was still in Taiwan but since there's no winter in here in the Philippines I feel like they are more uh, appropriate during this cold uh, season uh, cold rainy season and uh, the thing with my perfume is that they are not uh, very heavy, uh, rich, and deep kind of scent. Um, so I feel like uh, it will work here in the Philippines, unlike the other heavy perfumes like um, the Angels, the Terry Mugler perfumes, something like that. I don't feel like uh, they are more appropriate here because um, they are very heavy. So. Um, I hope you like this video and before I proceed to the video uh, please uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe to my to my channel and if you are new here uh, you are very much welcome I all the videos that I make or the contents that I make on this channel are, are purely related to fragrances perfumes I do unboxing I do reviews I do hauls I I'm basically I'm showing all the collections that I have and I would love if you consider subscribing to my channel click that red subscribe button down there and click click that ring notification bell so next time I upload new videos you will get notified so thank you again guys and disclaimer I'm not I'm not uh, what do you call this uh, I am not an expert with regards to this matter I'm just me and this is just me sharing what I feel like uh, appropriate in this kind of weather and also this is my personal experience with regards to this perfume as I always say so I'm very new to this YouTube channel this YouTube world so please bear with me guys I, I feel like I'm almost two to, two, three months almost three months in this thing so thank you for those who have been with me for your support and for always watching my channel so thank you and God bless you more and yeah uh, for a couple of days now it's always rained and so I think I need I, that, that's when the idea came in to make this uh, video so let's proceed now to the video the first uh, perfume that I have here in my collection is this one this is Signorina Eleganza from Salvatore Ferragamo and this perfume to me is a very uh, what we call this it, it has fruity patchouli floral and sweet woody scent it's a, a little bit leathery but this is a very elegant scent and it has this comforting scent when I wear this but oops sorry it has this comforting scent uh, that I get and it has the sophistication and I feel like this is for the more mature person for more mature kind of girl it's like 30 and above I know I don't need I don't have to uh, label but uh, I don't think teenagers can really lock, rock, rock this perfume I feel like these are more on the mature sophisticated kind of girl so it's not a very girly girly scent um, in my opinion so that's the perfume and the next one that I have to show you is this one this is a uh, I mean Daisy Love from Mark Jacobs and look at the presentation girl ah guys it's a very girly scent and very eye-catching very attention-grabbing uh, bottle look at this very big um, Daisy and uh, among all the other perfumes I believe that this the only perfume that has Daisy note on it and the rest uh, has no Daisy 
ingredient or note in the perfume. So this perfume is a little bit musky, woody, and a floral, powdery, and a little bit sweet scent. So I feel like it has this comforting, cozy scent that I get. So I prefer to use this on the winter time, but since uh, no winter here in the Philippines, so I feel like it has this uh, scent that I get or or um, that comforting scent. And I'm sorry guys if you uh, hear me uh, repeatedly saying cozy and comforting and warm is because that's basically how I see this perfume. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, English is not really my first language so I'm having a hard time describing all the scents and as we all know describing scent is not very easy because things that I get probably um, you don't get or things that I like or perfumes that scents that I like probably won't uh, well on don't do well on you so I'm trying to um, give this uh, explanation but overall um, this is what I get and I don't want to make this uh, video too long so I'm making this fast and the next one that I got is this one this is Valentina pink by Valentino yeah, and look at the packaging guys. It's so beautiful, right? It's very eye-catching as well and very girly, very feminine. But this perfume scent is a fruity sweet uh, floral and a musky scent in this um, it has berries. It has blackberry and strawberry. And uh, if I were this, to describe this, it's like you caramelize a brown sugar and then you dip the strawberries and some berries on it and then those two scents mixed together that's what i get so yeah this is a very nice uh, scent uh, but a little bit pricey the next one that i have is here this is elizabeth arden always red and it for me it has a similar scent but to me this is more on the fruity side this one is more heavy on the vanilla heavy on the sandalwood or amber I guess so or praline if I'm not mistaken and so it has this woody scent that you get but this one is a little uh, more rich and more deep that's why I feel like this is a more stronger scent uh, and it has it has pretty um, notes also but it's it has plum and a passion fruit and blood orange but this one is more on the berry side but uh, basically they have almost the same uh, dry down so I think that's that's what I get so I conclude that they have a similar dry down and the next one that I have is this one so my dog is right there again guys and if you hear the noise from the outside from the background it's because it's raining and this part of the video was deleted so i need to refilm and insert this uh, clip but this perfume is on the more uh, fancier side this is a uh, gourmand sweet caramel caramel vanilla perfume that has its or it gives cozy uh, comforting scent in the rainy season so uh, this is Fancy Love, I mean this is Fancy from Jessica Simpson. So this perfume is, inter is interestingly enough. It says two bros but it has no two bros in the notes. And uh, I have a little story of this perfume. Um, I was hunting for another kind of perfume and the name is Joyful Two Bros because I read in the Fragrantica that it has more good reviews and I don't know that this perfume is existing at that time. So I was in a hunt for that perfume. I went to six different stores um, in Taiwan, Zara stores, just to look for that perfume but a sales representative told me that it's no longer available. I don't know because probably the weather changes or they don't uh, produce that perfume anymore so she told me that they have the basic basically the same scent but um, when I look up at the notes 
uh, they are not very similar uh, the joyful two rows one has more um, notes this one has only less than 10 or probably uh, yeah around that that scent so i'm not familiar with all the notes but i end up liking this perfume i wear this uh after i take shower at night probably seven or eight in the evening and the next day i woke up i could still smell this perfume so uh the drive down to me is a very lovely day i don't know why but i love the musky sandalwood or uh, that woody vanilla amber combination i don't know i'm so attracted to that i feel i feel like it's a sexy seductive scent that i'm getting so uh, i don't know if you feel that way or if you if you do just let me know comment down below but that's what i get i feel it's a little bit uh sexy actually so the next one that i have from sarah is this pink plumbe and this perfume is uh citrusy woody musky set and a little powdery as well and, and aromatic and many says in the fragrant card that this perfume is similar to vivalo juicy i could i could smell the different uh, the similarity so if you can't afford the um, Viva La Juicy one, um, go check this one out because it's a good uh, dupe. Uh, not just me saying this, but from the reviews that I read in Fragrantica. So it's a close, closer, similar scent. So check this one, guys, if you are interested. And the next one that I have is this one. This is uh, Viva La Juicy Gold Tour. And Jeremy Fragrance says that this perfume is a man eater or men love this perfume. He find this perfume very seductive, sexy, um, very lovely perfume and the way he he uh, described this perfume. So every time Jeremy Fragrance uh, review this perfume, it's very uh, not rea realistic or you will he will make you fall in love with this perfume he will make you buy this perfume and so i got this because of him i really don't know that this perfume before i don't know that this perfume existed but because he says that this is a very good perfume uh yet it, it, yes it is it has the same scent with the uh, original Viva La Juicy. It's just that this more this is more sweeter, more gourmand perfume, more heavy and caramel, and yeah, it has this sexy kind of uh, seductive scent that I get and I understand him. And the next one that I have is this one. This is from Valentino. This is Valentino Donna Aqua. This perfume is uh, nutty, almondy, and very beautiful scent. And I, and I feel like this perfume is a sexy scent as well. It has a pear and almond. And this is a very beautiful scent this is not so heavy and the the color already changed the first time that i got this perfume is a little lighter uh, a little bit similar to this one light or even lighter than this one but if the perfume has vanilla or what they call this amber probably or anything that has sweet note and it tends to change its color but the the juice or the the juice is not bad it's just the color changes and there are perfumes that the longer uh, the longer or the the more that it aged the more it it gets uh, even better and the next one that I have this is from easy Miyake this is rose and rose and if if you like a rosy scent this is the one for you but it's on the sweeter side and this perfume really lasts long i spray this in the morning and then even uh, around 
7 or 8 in the evening, I could still smell this perfume. So every time I wore this, I don't have to reapply because I believe this perfume lasted on me that much. So, yeah, this is a very good perfume. Uh, as you can see guys, I've worn a ton of it because uh, this is a very lovely scent. So uh, the next one that I have is this uh, Berber Brit perfume. It has a similar scent with uh, Valentino Donna. But this one is, um, it has almond, it's more almondy to me, it's also nutty and uh, citrus and vanilla. So this one has a little, this, this perfume has citrus note, uh, the, van, the Valentino doesn't have. So uh, that's what I get and they have a very similar dry down. So it's a nutty almondy. Uh, fruity I mean citrusy scent and the last one that I have is this one this is very new in my collection and a cheap a cheapy as well so my camera is not focusing so this is a uh, pink sugar from Aqualina and it smells like cotton candy so if you like sweet perfumes so most of these are sweets going one scent so if you like that perfume then this is a good uh, um, one for you and this is 30 ml but the thing is I'm not sure if this perfume is avail available here in the Philippines so I got this overseas but if you can check this perfume this is a very lovely scent and many says that it's a very uh, juvenile or for uh, the younger crowds very teenager very young perfume but I don't care um, though I don't like very very sweet perfume uh, it tends to give me headache and makes me sick to my stomach but for some reason this is not that uh, sweet or overly sweet but this one on the gourmand side and to me it's like a burnt sugar literally just cotton candy so this uh, these are all for tonight guys I hope you like this video um, I know more of this perfume is on the winter side or fall season if you're living in other parts of the world but uh, since there is no winter here in the Philippines so I feel like this perfume are more appropriate to wear this kind of season so I'm going to end this now because um, it's a little bit crazy probably I will insert a clippings or a, a short video of what is going outside because there's thunder and lightning going on it's like there's a party going on in the clouds so yeah thank you all so much guys thank you for bearing the noise with me um on the background and thank you for your time thank you for watching and see you again next time bye stay healthy